Hey, how's it going? Here's a quick video on how to get started, but um, it depends on the film that you want to compare it to, if this is that same assignment. Um, so when you're doing research in the databases like this, whatever film you pick, and I was working with somebody else who's already done a film called The Breakup, which I hadn't seen, but it's like a Jennifer Aniston movie, I think. Um, oh, now I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's, it's Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn. Um, but it's like, it's really old. And it doesn't matter what the film is, a lot of different films, if it's got people in it, you can work with the relational dialectics. So what you have to think of in your film are what are some of the things that go on with people? And it can be like regular emotions or it can be um, like the way that people talk to each other. And it can be like with psychology and how you're searching for things like that. It can be anything that you've used to describe how people talk to each other. So it could be like the volume that they talk could be shouting or calm, even talking, or it could be like a style of talking like negotiation or conversation. Um, all of those apply to relational dialectics, which um, if you if you can Google that or hit YouTube, there's a lot of cool videos out there. But this is what I got from it is that it's like um, communication patterns between uh, people in a relationship. And it defines all sorts of things like information that they're holding back, information that they're holding out, um, or like how the, they talk back and forth together. Negotiation might be part of it, how they come to a decision, viewpoints and connection. Connection, I think, is a big one because everyone's going to have differences and it's really hard to figure out what you share and what you have in common. And so you're kind of negotiating that as you go. Be that as it may, here's how you do um, some searching. Oh, and by the way, this video counts for the extra credit. I think if you just send the URL. First thing you can do, um, there's two databases I'll show you. One is the communication database. So this is libutah.edu. It's the uh, University of Utah Marriott Library. And if you go under databases, you can go into communication. And the top database listed there will be the one that I use. Communication and Mass Media Complete. I have to keep an eye on the clock because I'm going to get my COVID shot. I'm excited. My shot number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, any film would work. I'm trying to think of, because usually they have like character development where the people start out not knowing each other and then they slowly do whatever like Lord of the Rings they don't know each other and then at the end they're all just like great heroes and things like that so um, what you can do is you can search for you the the words that you come up with from whatever film you pick or from relational dialectics you can search for those um, what people often try and do is find relational dialectics and the name of their film but the problem is, is not a lot of film writers write about psychological constructs and theories and things like that. So you can approach it by thinking about all the ways that you want to describe these things and how they work, and then use articles that talk about them in different ways. So when I talked about, um, when I talked about Lord of the Rings, have you seen Lord of the Rings? Um, that's cuts like 20 years old now, but it's identity negotiations, and it doesn't matter that it's at university, but you could you could even find something in this one that talked about how people make friendships when they're thrown into a situation. And it would be, wouldn't be hard to find a quote that you could apply to Aragorn meeting the hobbits or something like that. So when you go into a scholarly article, they're gonna to come to the point in the first page or so and then the rest of the pages are going to be about uh, methodology and defending that viewpoint. So you don't have to read the whole thing um, unless you're into that. Um, but let's see. Oh, here's one where they say something. Mature students often share a sense of separateness from their younger peers. That's, even though that's not like a huge statement, it's a big deal if you are looking at a movie and you were saying the the people who are older or the people who are more senior or people who had authority tend to hook up together so like Aragorn talks differently with Gandalf the wizard 
than he does with the hobbits. He kind of talks down to them like children. And so when you say Aragorn talks to um, other people, other heroes that are full height or whatever, um, differently than he talks to the hobbits. And according to O'Boyle in 2014, um, they talked about, despite the diversity of an environment, mature students often share a sense of separateness from their younger peers. And that's how you'd put it into your paper. But you can't just hang your hat on um, relational dialectics. What you can do instead, or in addition, is since you're in a communication database, you don't have to type in communication. And you could talk about friendship and war, for example. So you could say, you know, like the hobbits go off to war. Or so again, we're, we're grabbing stuff from this side. So whatever movie you pick, um, you do com, um, like friendship and jealousy, friendship and dating, friendship and cohabitation, whatever those keywords were. Um, then you can go in and here's an article about friendship and survival in war. And they, what they will do is they'll take some theoretical framework and they will look at this and they will make observations about how friends and friendship develop or break apart and that sort of thing. Um, if you go, so that's that's one place to go, and you can find those full text articles there. Oh, and there's a citation generator too. Ooh, I gotta get off to my shot. <laughs> I'm dying with how slow this is. There's a little citation generator right here. So when you're doing APA style, you can grab it from here, and it will sometimes be correct. This one needs... Um, that should be lowercase, that should be lowercase, that should be lowercase, that should be lowercase. So um, beware, it's not always like 100% correct. Okay, psychology database. Oh, you could also look up the title of the film too. Um, but sometimes that doesn't work. And so you have to think about themes in the film. Oh, I don't wanna to go to the letter P, I wanna to go to the pull down menu that says psychology. psychology. So communication and mass media, and then psych info. These are the two databases I'd recommend. So if you know the name of the film, psychologists often write about films too. So this is how you would do the name of a film. If you put it in quotes, say you wanted to do Lord of the, oh, not Lord of T rings, Lord of the rings. If you put it in quotes, it will look for that block of text, Lord of the rings, all together, stuck together like that. If you didn't put quotes, it would find Lord here and rings there, and it would be a big mess. And that works on Google, too. So you could search what are themes in the context of psychology that they're talking about the name of whatever film you pick. And some of it, if you don't understand the article, like I have no idea what transitionality in the fetish, no idea what's going on there. So if you don't understand it, move on to the next article. Uh, oh, there's racial logics. So feminist theory. It's all sorts of different things that you could do where you could talk about something and then tie it to something that somebody said. Here's a tip, though. If you don't know what to say, find one that looks pretty good. So maybe like the role of a hero and see what the author has to say in that first page or so. And then maybe that could help you figure out what you want to write as well. Okay, so let me let me know how it goes. Um, you can hand this in for extra credit, um, but I'm happy to help further as you go. Um, but I realize the outline is due today, so um, get cracking on that, and I'll help you um, for as much as you like. Um, but I'm going to go get my shot, so I'll see you later.